Yeah, I'm, I'm Alex Ursha. Um, I concentrate right now on Paite Laguna Arnis and Calis Ilustrisimo, Repetition Original. Oh, ah. Insert. It. But those were just different levels. First is to block, weapon to weapon, right? Take a shot first, but it's the same move, right? It just depends on where you're going to insert your strike or your entry. So now I'm here in Paite Laguna. I'm, uh, I got into this because you know, I met Gat Puno Abunja Bayet in Oakland, and he says, "Man, Alex, you know all these Visayan arts, and you're fucking Tagalog. So why aren't you studying Tagalog arts?" So I kind of felt embarrassed about it, right? So. He says, hey, I'm going to be in, this, in the Philippines at this time in month. Hopefully you'll be there. And I used to work for the airline. So we took a vacation and I ended up looking for him here in, in Paite Laguna. Actually, it was the Fiesta too, and he had a training camp. So I got to go meet his students from Florida and all over the United States and then meet the maestros and he opened up the door for me. So when he introduced me to his uncle, Tatay Goyo, and then my Sudoy, Baltimore, um, and then Cesar Kadang, um, we call him Maestro Papay, and then uh, the resident grandmaster at that time was Ma uh, Maestro Moody Madrigal. He taught the Doce Pares of Laguna. And so that's how I started. I had four maestros who would teach me and and it was fun because, hey, I'm learning about my Tagalog uh, roots. Most styles that you see out in the, uh, the mainstream is, are uh, mostly Visayan arts. You have Doce Pares, Balintawak, um, Calis Ilustrisimo. Pikititirsha, you know, all of them are, are, are from Visayas and the difference is they they cover everything from double stick to single stick to knife to empty hand. Here in, in Paite Laguna, we start very slow. Uh, you, I would say more traditional than what you see in the mainstream. And uh, we, we use from tall to large stances. Um, we don't go tactical, we just play. And basically for us, slow is fast. And we concentrate on range. We usually try not to block uh, the opponent's weapons. So we're always in a range where hopefully we won't get hit. That's the difference. People find uh, our, our play on the bench uniquely funny, but hey, try it out. Then you'll, you'll see a lot of people make fun of our videos. Um, uh, that's, that's the shame about it because, you know, you guys like to do the fancy stuff and you don't understand what you're doing because it looks fancy. Yeah, you see John Wick do it, right? And then you come to Paite Laguna and we move really slow but precise. It's not for everybody. So that's why you don't see a lot of us coming over here. I bring my friends from Manila, and some of them came from the States. You know, we, They appreciate it once they experience it. But if you see it on the stage, people are like, what the fuck? Why are they so slow? Is that for real? Can you really use it? And that's why you want to come to Paite Laguna, meet Maestro Anthony, Maestro Doy. Now, there's so many arts that you will learn. Everybody has their own flavor, you know. Um, I believe that a lot of the older, old timers appreciate that. Like when GM Rene Tongson came here, he really appreciated it. And GM Rene Tongson has his own system. Tres puntas abanico. And I've known him forever, you know. 
I've studied with Ernesto Presas and uh, senior in Combatan and with Tatang Illustrissimo and, and Tony Jago. Master Tony Jago appreciates this stuff, but not everybody does, you know. So, like I said, um, for us, it's, it's a different flavor. And if you don't like the slow, I might, this not, might not be for you. Everybody has a different way of distinguishing what traditional is. Dose Pares teaches exactly what they used to teach back in the day. So that's traditional for them. And what we teach in Calis Illustrissimo is the way we were taught. Back then, when I started at 19 years old, we had Master Yuli Romo warming us up just like that we do in Luneta, but now we're in Arosuelos. Like I said, that's a different type of tradition, right? Here, when you see us move slow and we, we actually are doing certain moves, it looks more traditional because people see larger stances. You know, we don't swing at each other like if we don't know we're gonna hit the guy, we're not gonna try and lunge at him just because, right? There's precision in the way Paiti Arnis moves. So traditionally, I think the arts here in Paiti are a little bit more traditional looking because we don't make it tactical. We don't do that, uh, that, that thing so we can get people to come. Here, if people don't want to study, it's okay. They're, they're kind of happy with a, a small, tight group. So what, what's the advantage of coming over here? Man, you immerse yourself in the culture. Paite Laguna has awesome, you know, the church is awesome, the wood carving is the best, you know. Um, there's, there's, there's a certain flavor of coming back to the roots. Some people learn an art for 20 years and never been into the, in the Philippines or at that province, you know. Um, here in, in Paite Laguna, you'll see there's, there's uh, different falls around this, this uh, we call it barangay or province. There's a lot of falls. If you like the nature, that's a good place to go to. The other, uh, the other advantage of learning from the maestro instead of a second-hand student like me is that he can explain it precisely. Uh, like he kind of customizes everything to us. I'm a slow learner, been here since 2003, still learning, you know. And what I'm saying is that for me to tell him and say, why can't I get this? I'm in the right position, right angle, and I still don't get it. He'll have to come in there and see it. Because not every size fits everybody. It's not a one size fits all. And so even when I went to Calis Illustrissimo, it was the same, right? So FMA is good in the Philippines because we put an effort into customizing the learning process. Uh, the maestros are really good at that. You, um, in the States, if I teach, I'll be right in front, you follow me. Monkey see, monkey do. Okay, over there, no, over here, they look at you and they go, wait a minute, they stand behind you and they check. And once they check that movement, they're like, I don't know, it's not working for you, let me fix that. So sometimes it's, it's that, that anal, if, if that's the word for it. They're really OCD, you know, they want to make sure that when you leave, you actually got at least one or two moves that work for you. So that's the advantage of coming to your roots. Um, and sometimes, you know, when we go back to the States, we have to modify it. It's better if you speak Tagalog because you understand it. it's hard to translate it into English. That's the hardest part. But if you see the maestro move, oh man, it's so much better because action speaks more than words, right? And so that's, that's the point, you know, um, that's, that's the most advantageous point of learning in the Philippines.